Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're getting back onto Sword Art Online and this is a new one, A Civilization. I'm probably pronouncing that stupidly wrong, but we're going to continue anyway. So this episode is called Departure. So we start off with Krito um, tries to help and has a plan. And this is when they're trapped in the cave with the goblins and stuff. And, but we find out that the goblins are afraid of the glowing flower, which is like, I guess, magic, technically, but not really. I want to use sucker again in focus, please. Like, seriously. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. there we go. So anyway, so Carito uh, did good, but he got hit really bad, and he felt like a game. But when he got hit, he got hurt super, super, super bad. Like, really bad. And um, it was like excruciating pain and everything. So it was kind of weird that, you know, they all got, that he got hurt really bad. Uh, then Yu-Gi-Oh! froze again. But then he steps up and got over it. He got hurt, but he remembers him. when Because he, he thought he was about to, I guess go on a permanent vacation as they say and um, he start, he's like he remembers him from when they were kids and stuff and it was kind of bizarre but anyway and then Carito pops back up and he goes super postal um, postal and off the goblin's head just like bye and then the rest flee and then they try then they try to take Yu-Gi-Oh but um, Carito hears Alice at the center tire. Oh, so my put bad. They try to save Yu-Gi-Oh. Krito does. Then he hears Alice at the central tower. And then he passes out. Later, Krito and Yu-Gi-Oh talk, and then they try the um, sword on the tree, and they manage the sword better because of the goblin because they got XP. They got more experience in order to do this right. So. They're doing, so they managed to take more life off the tree than they would have if they never went to the mountains in the first place. And now they're doing work on the tree. Like, they're literally shaving that tree down. And so, e, so U, hmm, Ujio wants Kurito to teach him how to use a sword. He agrees. So there's a big training montage, which is actually pretty cool. And they actually managed to cut down the tree. And the village is super, super happy about this. And then uh, we have Krito and someone else talks. I forgot who. And then Yujo gets to choose his next calling. So he chooses Swords Man. And so they go to the central city. And it's been approved. Because you have to have approval to change your career, and they approved it. The Yuji and Selka talk. Uh, so that's who Kurito was talking to. My bad. Because uh, Selka's also with them as well. So that's how the whole thing happened. And so that's how he got. They all got revived and went back home. So anyway. Uh, so Yuji and Selka talk and wants to bring Alice back. And then they leave off to the other place uh, this was a pretty good episode i gave it an a so i like how i love the fight scenes in this it was really good and it's like a really good moment for yugio just because he um for his last time something bad happened to his friends and i need to see if I, this thing has been bored the entire time okay it hasn't okay great I'm just super, I can't see, everything's blurry. Um, I, anyway, like I was saying, I really like the episode just because it shows UGO's growth and how they were able to use that experience to translate into training on the sword and to cut down the, the tree. And I just really like that, like how they're maturing and evolving and getting new experiences and stuff. So I really enjoyed that. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Just 
Tell me your own thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. And I wish y'all have a super awesome day. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.